go sunning. It's so good for you. Let's go sunning. Need the sky. Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this program to bring you breaking news from the observatory at Rockwell. I, in over 20 years of broadcasting, I'm at a loss for words. I can only describe what I'm seeing as not from this earth. Something is emerging out of the spacecraft. It's raising its hand. Perhaps a sign of peace. No! We are under attack! Ladies and gentlemen, due to technical difficulties, we are unable to continue the broadcast from the Rockwell Observatory. Pathetic humans. Hello, friends. Have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? All systems go, General. Four. Come on, baby, show us what you got. Three. What the hell? Two. What in the blue blazes is that? One. Go, wait, stop the countdown. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. What's shaking, Pox? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. <sighs> Let's just say I hope you turn out to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this. But the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. That's bad, right? Only if we want to retain our immortality through cloning. Of course it's bad! I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136 to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured, maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pox. You're a smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <sighs> 
Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. We gotta crack some craniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, well, we gotta... I gotta... Brains, man. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. I take your point. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. Orthopox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loathsome little planet. Now, Crypto! To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Those lactating bovoids are likely candidates. Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling gas bags beyond the fence. Yes, I'm afraid I do. But they're covered in nipples. Now, Cryptosporidium! You may look and aim by physically manipulating the right analog stick. You can move about the area using the left analog stick. We can peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip. Move. Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. They eat with their mouths. Ugh. I think I'm going to be violently ill. Attention, Earth creature. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. <coughs> At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? <coughs> Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. We Furons have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis. Target an object or creature, then hold L1 button, then hurl the bovines by double tapping triangle button. And tell me we's having barbecue for dinner? Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's holy mother of Martha, give me the shotgun! A 
Attention, you do in fact have weapons. Just hold the R1 button. Try it now. Give that puny... Farmer, a taste of the old Zapomatic. Harold, come on back. You gotta see this. They got a talking horse on the TV. I ain't never seen nothing like. Ah! Little green spaceman. Ah! I am not. Green. Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. What is that? A new silo? Crypto! That human law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those pea brains were to get their hands on your quantum deconstructor, they could rip a hole in the space-time continuum! Oh, the furonity! Vaporize them, Crypto! <laughs> crypto, my radar shows more humans approaching. Hurry to the saucer! analog stick to propel the saucer forwards and backwards, and a strafe left and right. To turn the saucer, use the right analog stick. industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Open fire!
Look out! There are more to the north in the bushes! The humans are making a final push! Wipe them out once and for all! Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer wiping out the best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The eggheads were actually onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell was only the beginning. The invasion is on. Man. That's right. Skeet that up. 